Hi, welcome back to Tea Tuesday. <sighs> Let's get into it. Um, so as many of you know, the school I currently work at is not the school that I actually started working at or my second school even. It's my third school that I've worked at in three in the six years that I've been here. Um, my first school, we like, I left because, you know, I was, I was sick of the countryside. But my second school, there's a story there. Why did I leave a university? Why did I take a pay cut to go to some other university where I'm not making as much? Um, what led me to basically leave a pretty decent job um, and move to my current university. Um, and I'm gonna close this window because I think construction's still going on. So, um, but yeah, so why did I, why did I leave my last university? And it's a very complex story, very complex story. Uh, first, I actually was looking into going home at that time. Um, I wasn't sure I wanted to stay in Korea much longer and my mom had just had heart surgery um, which I had visited home for um, and you know my mom's health wasn't that great and my dad kind of needed help and stuff so I was thinking about moving home and so that that like brought the idea of like going home going home to the like forefront of my mind and then um, I started really like heavily thinking about the job and my, I have a friend who actually works at my current university who was like, Kara, you know, that job that you work at is not that good. Like I, I know you get paid a shit ton of money, but they work you like dogs. They treat you like shit. And why are you still there? Come to my university, less hours, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't know. I really like the pay because I was making over 4 million a month. Um, four million won a month and I took a drastic pay cut to come to the current university I'm at um, so there's that and so I I had like this inkling that I wanted to go home I ended up not going home because my mom ended up being okay and because as you guys know um, the reason I'm still here is because my dog is unable to fly the doctors will not okay it so that was like one of the catalysts that made me start thinking and reevaluating my university. Well, the big reasons, plural, weren't the pay. The pay was really good. I, I got a decent amount of money um, and like it wasn't too bad after taxes. Like I made a pretty decent chunk of change and I got paid for any overtime that I, uh, that I did at like 50 an hour. It was pretty decent work, right? But it was a lot of work. Okay. I was working 18 hours a, a week and then plus five to six hours, one-on-one -on -one meetings with students and forced overtime and camps during the summer and winter programs for five weeks which again I got paid for that but you know you're working what 18 plus 6 is um 24 right you're working 24 hours and that's not including your prep time that you need for these classes that's not including you know the commute time that it took me an hour and a half from where I lived but the place that the school was located was not a very good neighborhood so like I didn't want to live near the school so I had to live away from the school and the best location away from the school was an hour and a half and so like if you commute if you put commuting time in and you put in prep time and you put in like all of that I was working my ass off for this job and it gets to you after a little bit. Like you get tired after working that many hours um, at a job where you're creating the entire thing from, from scratch, basically, right? Like I don't, I get a textbook, but I have to do everything. Like I don't have somebody there telling me what to do, like at a hot one or at like a uh, elementary school or whatever. I am lesson planning. I am creating the lessons like, it, it, you know, <sighs> 
it was a lot of work. I was burnt out. And the other big thing, again, was the commute time. Well, well, another big thing was a commute time. It was an hour and a half both ways, or hour and a half one way. So both ways, it was three hours a day. There were nights I wasn't getting home until like 8 30, 9 o'clock at night, which is insane. Um, it's like working a Hagwon job, but I was working at a university, but it was like working at a Hagwon. And I was just like, can't do this. You know, it's, it's too much. And with Trixie getting older, it was just like, I can't, I can't be away that long. I can't be away that long from her. So I'm like, well, okay, what do I do? What do I do? That's not enough to leave the job. Again, the pay was so good that I'm kind of like, uh, 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 right? Well, another big thing was how they treated me. Hmm. Oh, I wish this was alcohol because that's a story. I was one of two female faculty members in the English department. It was a very small faculty. There were only, I think, 11 of us or 12 and almost all men okay the woman before the like the woman before i absolutely loved her like she was great um she had a baby and they treated her like absolute garbage um like for instance they didn't want to pay her for her maternity leave she actually had to take them to court because they were like messing with her maternity leave and like telling her she couldn't take it when she wanted to take it and like they were they were threatening not to pay her and like she had to take them to court to get the money and stuff it was insane so obviously she left but then the girl who replaced her was kind of like she was an older woman um i say older she was probably like mid to late 30s but that's much older than me because at the time i was in my early late 20s i was in my late 20s and um so you know she was older everybody there was older than me and male okay i was the youngest by many years i had students who were my age okay and or older and they treated me like garbage. We would be in meetings because, you know, you have monthly meetings with your work and they would either not talk to me or they would not listen to suggestions that I had. And I've been teaching at this point for like four or five years. And it's like, bitch, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not incompetent. Like, give me, you know, this, give me that. And they would just treat me like shit. And then we got a new secretary. Bitch spoke by mal to me. Okay. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 you don't speak by mal to me. And so I brought it up to my superior. And so we had a meeting to discuss it because I was like, this is not okay. How she's treating me is not okay. And the, it was my secretary, like the, the liaison, the, um, I actually really liked this lady. Um, she was amazing. And it was her and the head teacher who were in this meeting with the secretary. And I was basically telling them, like, this is a problem. She needs to deal with it. She needs to be respectful to me and treat me the way she treats the male employees. Because she doesn't speak by mouth to them. She is, she's not being... Like, she's not treating them as inferior. She's treating them as, like, an equal or, you know, what they are. They're the professor. And so I'm like, she needs, this needs to be fixed because it's, it's annoying me right now. It's really pissing me off. And the male head teacher, let me preface this by male because, again, I think it has something to do with being one of the only women in the department and being the youngest, um, was like, well, maybe because, you know, you're a woman and you're so young, she just thinks that it's okay. And I'm like, but it's not. I am a professor at this university. I have a higher job status than her. Yes, I'm a contract worker, but I'm still above her. And she needs to treat me with respect. She doesn't treat any of the male faculty like that. Don't give me this bullshit that I am the youngest. So that's how she's going to speak to me. No, she's not going to speak to me like that because it's rude. And so it was just a hot mess. And I was pissed, obviously. And that like him being like that was like, 
no, bitch, nah, you are not saying that to me because I'm sorry, I have studied just as long as half of you, if not more, because there were professors at that university who only had bachelor's degrees. And I've been teaching for longer than some of the professors at this university. <clears throat> the new woman <clears throat> that had just started at the university who had gotten fired from her previous university job. So, like, don't give me this bullshit. And I just think after two years of the subtle put downs from professors and or from the other faculty, the foreign faculty, um, I was just like done. And the fact that when I got my schedule for that new semester, the new year, because I had signed on for a third year, when I got my schedule, I had been trying to get advanced classes the entire time I worked at that university. My scores were one of the highest in the university, student scores, and I constantly had good reviews from students and students coming back wanting to take my class, etc. They refused to give me higher than the first level class. And I'm like, I have some of the best, like, there are people who have higher level classes than me that do worse than me on student reviews, student evals. So don't give me this bullshit that, you know, it's about scores because it's not. It's about something completely different and I don't know what the fuck it's about, but give me fucking, give me one high level class. Give me one. They want it. So it was just a culmination of everything, like the working hours, the commute time, the treatment from the male faculty, uh, as well as the secretary. And, you know, the fact that they weren't giving me what I, I asked for, what I wanted. I, I just wanted one high level fucking class. One. One high level class. And they wouldn't give it to me. So I was like, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. I'm leaving. I'm going to a different university. And I skied the fuck out. Bye. 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 I just didn't care. Um, I had signed a contract, but like until you put the contract with Amy, it's not legally binding. So, oh, and they had changed the contract. So they, I needed to sign a new contract anyway. So I wasn't legally bound to that university. Um, and then I ended up at my university where the male faculty is, uh, <laughs> they're okay. I have some friends who are in the male faculty. They're okay. Um, the women are amazing. I hang out with them all the time. And they give me high level classes. They give me elective classes. They let me do what I do best, which is teach. They don't micromanage me. They don't treat me like I'm inferior to them. They treat me extremely nicely. And yes, I do did get a pay cut, but I'm working 12 hours plus five office hours. I'm working 17 hours a week. And even when I moved to Seoul, the commute is only 45 minutes. Like, win all around. The only downside is I took a pay cut. Like, ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Not bad. And like I said, they're giving me what I want, which is higher level classes. I'm teaching only English majors this semester. So there's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to hear more about like my university and like the stuff that happens there or anything like that, um, you can leave comments down below and I will try to answer them. Um, until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!